What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 40. 40 freaking episodes, man. 40. It looks like this is going to be the biggest episode that we have ever done, guys. I mean, as you can see, we have a ton of figures right here. We have a ton of work we're going to try and do. We have a ton of figures here from my Christmas haul. If you guys missed my Christmas haul video, definitely go check that out. It is up on the channel from Christmas Day. It was my entire Christmas haul of 2019, and we have a ton of figures here featured from that haul that we're going to do some surgery on, which is, you know, super exciting. That's why we got the Christmas tree here. We got Santa Claus in the house. We're not going to do anything to those figures, but I thought it'd be cool to include them in the video just so you guys know this is the Christmas edition, and we're going to be working on all the figures that, you know, I got for Christmas. So I think that's what we're going to do. You know, that was the whole reason behind wanting these figures is to do these fix-ups and customs and stuff like that. That's the reason behind having so many Jeffs or so many Finns or whatever the case is. It is to do customs customs and fix-ups in the future, and that is what we're going to do here today. Actually got some pretty fire ideas for this episode, and I think it is going to turn out pretty freaking sweet, nasty farticles, and you guys know how these episodes work. We always start off with what we're going to do first on the episode, so let's go ahead and dive into everything we're going to do here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 40. Now, the first order of business is going to be getting this Christmas tree out of the way and just placing it in the background because, uh, oh, Sam. Putting it in the, the background, that way you guys can see it, but it's not the main focal point. We don't want it to get in my way. I don't want it to, you know, get freaking blowed on by the hair dryer and freaking melt, and then I don't have a freaking Christmas tree, and then I'm looking like a jackass over here next Christmas without a Christmas tree, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to find a Christmas tree that size and perfect scale with our WWE figure. So let's go ahead and just scoot these guys in a little bit, get it all rocking and rolling and farting and holes and smelling it, and let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to do. So our next order of business is going to be breaking down all the figures here, but uh, we have a ton of stuff here. I don't know if you guys can see, we also have three basics right here stacked up next to Rikishi. So uh, I really don't know what to start with. I guess we could just start off with Matt Hardy's Elite right here. This is the WrestleMania 36 Elite. I don't know if you guys remember, we did this fix up a little while ago, maybe a couple episodes ago on WWE Action Figure Surgery. And uh, you guys can see it's the cartoony version of the WrestleMania 34 Basic or whatever. And it is actually a Elite version of this Basic. I do believe, or is this two separate events? I don't know. It may not be because it doesn't have the gold pattern. That could have just been Mattel being lazy. I don't know. Anyways, this is the True Effects version of this head sculpt, so we are going to put the True Effects version of this over here to fix this head scan up and fix this Elite up. That way it'll look a little bit better. Uh, very minor swap, very easy to do, and that is something that'll make that Matt Hardy look a lot better. Next up, guys, we do have another Matt Hardy fix-up, which is over here off screen. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I thought this would be a pretty cool fix-up. Take the WWE Shop exclusive Exclusive slash FYE exclusive slash Matt Hardy, and we're going to take another one of these because I got two battle packs, you know, the Jeff. I got two of the Jeffs and then two of the Mats uh, because they were $4.99 and the Jeff Basic was $4.99. So I figured why not pay $4.99 for the Matt and Jeff instead of $4.99 for one Jeff. So that was the reasoning behind that. Pretty smart, right? And since I have like four of these shop exclusive Matt Hardys, we can make another fix up by putting this head sculpt over here and giving it the true effects and a different look of Matt Hardy. So that's what we're going to do there since I have so many. You might as well make different looks and different head swaps and stuff. So we are going to do that with this Matt Hardy. So we have two Matt Hardy fix ups. Next up, we do have some pretty cool stuff going on. Uh, let's go to Matt Riddle. We're going to get Matt Riddle, and we are going to do a basic to elite conversion. My beautiful, amazing wife got me the Matt Riddle basic for Christmas, and it is to it is going to be to fix up our custom Matt Riddle elite right here. So we have the Matt Riddle elite with all the good parts going, bare feet and all. All we have to do is put an official Matt Riddle head scan on there. He even has the tattoo, and you guys have seen this on the channel before. So all we have to do is pop this head sculpt over here and it will be perfect and that will pretty much do it so it's just a simple head swap it'll officially be a matt riddle and he'll have the white trunks going he'll look pretty freaking fire flames nasty so that's what we're going to do right there go ahead and just switch that over so we're going to have a matt riddle elite fa finally just finally you know no more hbk head sculpt it's going to be perfection next up you guys can see we have a lot of things we're doing here we have a lot of things going on in this episode which is pretty freaking fantastic we have the chase variant elite 67 jeff hardy and this is one of the only elite jeff hardys that I do not have with a normal face scan on it, you know, with a non-face painted Jeff. You guys know that we like to do that here on the channel. So, uh, using the Jeff from that battle pack with Matt Hardy, we are going to switch these two head sculpts. That way we will have a non-face paint Jeff Hardy head sculpt onto one of my Elite 67 Chase variants. I think I have three or four 
remove that figure. So I think that'll be pretty excellent to finally have a non-face paint right there. And uh, the green gauges should tie in nicely. And again, just a minor head swap, but it will be very nice to look at up on the shelf. Speaking of shelves, I gotta buy some more shelves and organize them a little bit more because we have that room tour coming up on New Year's and uh, I gotta get that going, man. But before we get there, we gotta finish the rest of these fix-ups. I mean, my God, we already have like four or five in and we still have so much more here. So it's gonna be a big episode. I told you guys it's gonna be a really big episode, but uh, bear with me here. I feel like you guys like the longer episodes anyway. Let me know down in the comment section below. So what we have right here, guys, is we have the WrestleMania Battle Pack with Jeff Hardy and Edge, and we're gonna take this Jeff Hardy and convert him into an elite. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap their head sculpts. We're going to remove this shirt. We're going to remove these arms. We're going to put the entrance greats arms. I have a couple extra entrance greats arms. We're going to take these, put these onto this figure, and then, since he will be shirtless, we're going to put my little mesh shirt right here that I've had in my crowd for so freaking long, and it will complete the Jeff right there. So we're going to have a mesh shirt on our Jeff, and it will be his WrestleMania 17 look where he got speared by Edge, and that was the beautiful TLC match, which is just probably one of my favorite matches of all time. And that will be a really awesome swap. I know the only thing that will hurt it is the belt. His belt will not be the accurate color, but that is literally just some simple white paint that we can add later on. So that is a Jeff we're going to convert, and now I will have uh, two different Jeffs. You know, I don't want two ringside exclusive two-pack Jeffs. I want, you know, different Jeffs and different looks. That's the whole reason of buying multiples. So there is one of our, both of our Jeff Hardy fix-ups. Now for the rest of the stuff. This is where it gets pretty cool, and uh, we're going to just experiment right here. You guys will see Rikishi right here, and you guys can probably already tell what we're going to attempt here, and who knows if it's going to work, but we're going to attempt it. You know, if it fails, we fail. You know, we failed here on Action Figure Surgery. We've face planted before, and that's okay if we do it again. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to attempt to make this Keith Lee into an elite. Now, I don't know if their skin tones are exact. They may be a little bit off, but I don't know how well it will look once this head sculpt's over here. And we're going to try it. You know, if it, if it, I'm, I'm not going to paint anything or switch anything else until I see if the head sculpt sits perfectly or sits right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and switch that out and just kind of see. One thing I will say is it looks like uh, Rikishi is a little bit too, I don't know, he, he kind of looks like a little frumpy, I guess. By that, I mean he's like kind of short and then wide down below. I don't know. We're just going to have to look at it because I know Keith Lee's supposed to be 6'2", and it looks like uh, Rikishi over here is about six foot comparing their heights right here, so we're just going to have to see about that. Maybe we can fix his height with some different legs or something. We'll have to see about all that. We'll have to just kind of play it by ear, but I do want to head swap it just to see what it looks like, and that will be our first order of business, and if that works out, maybe we can take the legs off, paint those up, paint the ass cheeks right here, get that going, and uh, make ourselves an elite Keith Lee. We won't know till we get there, but uh, I did want to at least look at it. And for our final swaps of the day, I mean, my God, it's going to be a long-ass episode of surgery, Brad, so buckle the hell up, buckaroo. We got the Elite 74 Finn Balor. My wife got me another one of these for Christmas, so I'm freaking hyped, nasty, about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this Top Talents 2019 Finn Balor and we're going to take this X-Pac right here. And this is what I'm thinking right here, Bradley. We are going to attempt this. This is just an idea that popped in my skull randomly. The whole reason I wanted to get another Elite 74 Balor, first of all, is for the head sculpt. I think the red attire is beautiful. You can do some cool fix-ups with it. And the other reason is because I wanted to put the white lower legs and kick pads on the Top Talents Finn Balor and then give him some white wrist tape arms. I think that will look freaking beautiful. Not only that, we are going to take the X-Pac lower legs, put them on the Elite 74 with these knee pads and these trunks with this gold, black, and red kick pads on this figure. I think that will look pretty freaking nice. Then we're going to switch the black wrist tape arms over here and the white wrist tape arms over here. And these kick pads and knee pads, or these kick pads and lower legs will look good over here. I think it'll all work out. So leftover, we will have these uh, Finn Balor kick pads that can be used on another figure down the line, some custom or some fix up or something. We'll look at that later on. And that will pretty much do it for all the work we're going to do here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. We're also going to put the Smiley Head Sculpt onto the top talents. This is my leftover Smiley Head Sculpt from the two-pack with Finn Balor and AJ Styles. We're going to put that right there and see if that will complete it. And I'm actually really, really hyped to get this thing going. I think it's going to look excellent. I think everything on surgery is going to turn out today and uh, we are going to go with it. And, you know, we end up, we may end up at the end of the, this may be the greatest 
greatest episode of surgery ever when we're all said and done, Brad. But let's shut the hell up and get into these swaps. I guess we can start off with the minor things first, and then we will get into the bigger things. All right, guys, we're going to start things off with Matt Riddle and Keith Lee just because uh, I want to find out if Keith Lee is going to work out immediately. That way we'll know if we need to do some other things to him. So we are going to start off with Keith Lee. I know Matt Riddle should work out. Hopefully that, you know, we don't run into any, any issues with that. Hopefully it's just some head swaps and we can move on with it and see what we have to do. But we got the trusty white hair dryer ready to go in action. We're going to line this thing up and we're going to hit it and we're going to see if we can get these guys converted into elites and uh, see if that will work out. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to test it right now, and I'm so freaking scared. Oh, God in heaven, that Keith Lee didn't really get as much as I'd like. Let me see if I can get it. Woo! Yeah, his peg hole is, like, really tiny, so you got to, like, force it out of there. But, oh, his neck peg's weird, too. He has, like, the, he has like no neck. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, for Matt Riddle. Oh, God, Jesus. I can't do it on camera because I got to get up under it with my... Ah, shit. God, that sounded like it snapped the neck peg, but it actually did not, so. I mean, it almost did. Don't get me wrong, Brad. It, it almost did, for Christ's sake. All right, now for Rikishi. All right, there we go. Got the neck. He doesn't wear a necklace, does he? No, I don't think so. Okay, here we go. We're going to try Keith Lee real quick and just kind of see what this looks like. It doesn't look like it's going to work. God, his neck peg is so, f or his neck hole, I should say. His peg hole is so freaking small. Jesus. Good God, we may have to heat that shit up. All right, we'll come back to that in a second, but as far as HBK goes, okay, that popped right off, and now we're going to see if Matt Riddle will go straight on. It's like they make their... They make their freaking, uh, they made their peg holes smaller or something. All right, so we got the Matt Riddle head swap on, and we will take a closer look at him at the end. But as far as Keith Lee goes, I want to heat that up a little bit more, and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if this works. You know what, Brad? That doesn't look too freaking bad if you ask me, Bradley. I don't know, man. That looks pretty freaking solid. I mean, I, he can't really look up that much. But just sitting flush? I don't know, Brad. Hold up. Hold up. Just a freaking moment. I'm going to take this uh, waist wrap off. And we may be cooking with peanut oil, boy. So here we go. This is the Keith Lee so far. And I mean, the skin tones match up pretty well. It's just like the lower legs. Like if we paint these upper legs right here black... And then maybe, I, I don't know, we'll just have to play around with that a second. But that looks like it might work. All right, guys, I'll tell you what. We'll come back to Keith Lee because I actually just compared his height with Jeff Hardy. And he's actually, like, at the same height or uh, a little bit taller than Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy's 6'2 as well. So I don't know, man. It may We may be we may be on to some shit right here on Action Figure Surgery. But we're going to see. Um, I remember when they first showed the Keith Lee basic, I had to brainstorm a ton of ideas. I think I only told, like, a couple people about that Keith Lee possible swap with the Rikishi, and it looks like it might actually pan out, but uh, we have to move on with surgery. We'll come back to it, though, because I do want to find out if we can complete a Keith Lee here today, because how fucking epic would that be? I mean, this would be, th I mean, I think already this is going to be the craziest slash best action figure uh, surgery episode of all time, but we'll have to see about that. We'll see if we can finish everything up here, but I'm getting everything ready. Uh, we are looking at a uh, three-way head swap right here. We're going for two mats and a Jeff, and uh, then we are going to move on to our other Jeff and our Finn Balors, and then we're going to come back to Keith Lee. So we still got a lot of shit to do here today, but it is going to be an epic episode and probably going to be over 30 minutes long, but I know you guys enjoy the longer episodes anyways, so let's just shut the hell up and go ahead and hit this hoe. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get it going with the head swaps. These Jeff swaps are actually pretty insane. I can't, definitely can't do this one on camera because he, his hair is so thick and his head is such a B-I-T-C-H piece of shit. Thought I was in elementary school right there. God in heaven, I hate these like long haired head sculpts are the worst. Woo! And his neck hole sucks. So, uh, the Jeff basic should be relatively easy. God in heaven. Sorry, I just don't want to snap them. But here we go, putting the uh, normal uh, non-face paint Jeff Hardy head onto the blue sleeve Chase variant Elite 67. We'll take a look at that at the end. 
So this is done, and we can just go ahead and stick this over here to the side. Then coming back, we have our Matt, uh, my Matt, I almost said Matt Riddle, but there we go. And then the other Elite, got to go ahead and get this off right there. And then going back to the basics, and this one didn't really get heated up, but it may be enough. Woo, boy, I thought it snapped, I can tell you that. Thought that hoe was coming. Pop this back over here. We'll come back to that Matt Hardy at the end, and now we have one more Matt Hardy, and then we're gonna move on with surgery. Just like, oh, that one was way better. That other one didn't get enough heat on it is what the problem was. That's that that was the issue. There was a there's a D on the end. Alright, so there we go. We got our Matt Hardy head sculpt. So we have our basics headless right there. Now the next thing we have to do is, hmm, I guess we can go ahead and make our Jeff Hardy, that way we can get this done. So we are going to uh, take his shirt off right here and go, uh, this is gonna go over in the cloth bin over there in the closet. And then uh, we are going, I don't think this necklace is removable, unless you pop the head, sc head scan off, of course. So there is Jeff right there. This doesn't need to be heated up. Just need to take his shirt off. I think Custom Figure Shirts on Instagram made this, if you guys are wondering at custom underscore figure underscore shirts. Really awesome shirt maker. So John Cena can go over here and await a different shirt for the crowd. And then we have to heat up the arms of the Jeff as well as the head sculpt. And then we also have to heat up the head sculpt of this Jeff. And we're gonna plop this right here and they're gonna just, that looks not so good. So there you go. And then you gotta put the white arms in there and we are ready to make this swappages. All right, guys, there we go. And uh, after all these Jeff swaps and fix-ups, and holy Christ, that head sculpt is so thick, Brad. I bet that peg hole's so tiny. Ah, uh, God in heaven. All right, let's see about this one first, I guess. All right, actually, let's pop the, let's pop the arms off that way. Uh, even though the freaking head sculpt is the most important because the head sculpt is, like, super hard to uh, switch. Oh, God. Why is it so weird? Why is that, why is that peg so weird? God, don't make it dumb. Uh, now let's go ahead and... Yeah, I can already see that this peg hole on this Jeff Hardy, the ringside exclusive head sculpt and the uh, battle pack head sculpt, that flashback Jeff head is got a super tiny peg hole. That's the whole reason. Look down in there. Look how tiny that is. So yeah, that makes sense, Brad. Makes sense why it's a piece of trash. God. I haven't snapped any pegs, but it sure as hell sounds like it, Brad. I mean, my God. No, get the necklace back on there. I like the necklace on there. We want to keep the necklace, but we got to also keep it hot enough to pop on this Jeff head. Oh my god! Holy hell! Alright, I heated it up. Let's go ahead and give this another shot, sees. I don't like the way these arms are sitting, to be honest with you. So there goes the Jeff head. Now all we have to do is put the custom shirt on there. But that fr these freaking arms, dude, I don't know why they make the damn arms so stupid like that. They give them those, like, newer arm pegs. Just give them the regular old arm pegs, bro. Why you gotta make it so dumb? All right, so that'll go over there. Got a Jeff head sculpt over there. We have some extra Jeff Hardy arms to do something with. And now we're gonna add the custom mesh t-shirt or long sleeve. And bam, there we go. Get this hair over here, and there it is. WrestleMania 17, Jeff Hardy. Take a closer look at that at the end. Obviously gotta paint that belt white one day. But we have done that. Now we are moving on to our Finn Balor swaps, and hopefully these won't be as difficult. I mean, my God in heaven. All right, here we go. What do we gotta do, Brad? We gotta take the Finn Balor head sculpt like so. We're not removing the head. We're just heating up these arms, because I don't think, I feel like the white kick pads tie better with the white wrist tape, right? And the black wrist tape should tie in better with those black kick pads with red so what i'm thinking is go ahead and heat up this with this head sculpt and the uh all right there we go i think this is going to be the perfect way to do it and uh, we'll heat up all the lower legs together when it is time All right, guys, hopefully this turns out like God. I hope this turns out because I think it'll be super nasty farticles if we can get it correctly. Um, this damn arm is being a hobo for some reason. It's literally just about to fall out, but it's like, my God. Oh, my, are you, are you shitting me, Brad? Son of a bitch. <laughs> F you whore. All right, see if the head sculpt will pop off. That head sculpt ain't... Oh, Christ on a cycle, Brad. 
There we go. Pop these white wrist tape arms up here. I mean, my God, are you are you trying to upset me? I f oh my God, like. All right, guys, I went ahead and put the black wrist tape over there, and then... All right, that time I did not, you know, freaking snap the neck peg like I did that one time. Oh, yeah, this is the interchangeable head sculpt, so I guess I didn't really need to heat that up. Oh, well. All right, there we go. We got the head swap switch. Looks way better. I love that smiley, thin head sculpt, even though he's healed now. It's freaking stoop. All right, now we're going to slide the knee pads up of all the guys. We're going to put this right here, and then we're going to come back for X-Pac over here and do the same thing. The only thing I don't like about the X-Pac legs is that they're the Seth Rollins lower legs instead of the regular Finn Balor ones or the AJ Styles ones, but uh, F it. We're going to heat all this up and see if it works. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can get it going. This X-Pac leg feels like trash. I don't think it got enough heat, to be honest with you, but we actually did get it off, which is a surprise, which we're going to have to reheat that if we want to, you know, get it get it on a Finn Balor, but we definitely got it off at least, so we don't have to, you know, redo that. So that is nice. So we did get both of those off. We also got the pegs out of both, so the X-Pac can go over here to die in a fire. The uh, top talents, Finn Balor, here we go. Go ahead and pop these legs off. And this is going to be some extra Finn Balor fodder that we have for future reference or future fix-ups or something else that we can use it for. Not sure exactly what that'll be, but uh, we'll cover that and cross that bridge when we come to it. There is the other kick pad. Now getting the peg out of there. So we got the peg out of there for both of those. And now all we have to do is uh, freaking slide these knee pads up a little bit more. Go over here to the Elite 74. Go ahead and pop this off here. And I don't like to have the peg stuck in there like that. That is not what you like. I like to put it in the middle and then do the uh yeah like that that's what i like to see right there so we're gonna put this over here we're definitely gonna have to heat this trash back up i don't see these switching with ease maybe this one because it was closest to the fire and the heat but the rest of them are definitely not going to go down like that which is unfortunate so there we go we have the left leg done, or the right leg i should say so the right leg is done and the left leg i i just don't see this happening brad i just don't see it happening that would utterly shock me in all my years of football wrestling there's no way that this is going to go on here. And yeah, Brad, just don't see it happening. If you want my expert advice, it's very, very close. It is very, very close, but I don't think it worked out. So we'll have to uh, do that in a second. But I mean, we might as well just go ahead and uh, heat up both of them because we have to put our Xbox in there anyway. So let's go ahead and put our pegs. What we'll do is we'll put our pegs in here like this. And then we will heat up both lower legs at the same time and see if we can get these switches done. And then we will move on to Keith Lee and see if we can fix him up real quick. And then we're going to get out of here for action figure surgery. All right, guys, this should be good enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can finish up the top talents, Finn Balor. And then we will switch over to the X-Pac legs on the Elite 74, I think feel like that went on if it didn't then it's close yes we did get it okay that Finn Balor is done we'll look at him at the end his legs are loosey-goosey freaking fire nasty so now we're going to come back over here and we're going to get the right leg first I guess so coming over here going ahead and trying this my freaking fingers are freaking on fire for the love of Christ all right we got the right leg now coming back to the left oh my god why's the left so stiffy liffy Brad why in the words of Kevin Owens all right, guys, I finally got that on there. We will take a closer look at Finn Balor at the end when we take a closer look at everything. But uh, our next thing we're going to do is Keith Lee. We're going to take a closer look at him and see if we can, I don't know, man. I feel like I need to, like, switch out these boots. I'm actually going to see if uh, it will work if I put these taller boots right here. But I don't know what looks better, the taller boots or the kick pads. Boots are more accurate, but these short black boots won't work, and these may make him too tall or something. I don't freaking know, but I'm going to switch it and go ahead and look at it, and uh, I don't know if I have enough space on my camera, so what I may have to do is actually go ahead and paint this up and seal it, and then see you guys when we get everything done, so I'll just kind of play that by ear, and you guys will know by the next segment of the video what the hell happened. All right, guys, so after an hour and a half, I think, of different customization and different swaps and painting and doing all kinds of different things, trying to make everything work, I will show you guys the result of what we have at the end here, but let's take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action 
Figure Surgery, episode number 40, the Christmas special here, guys. What a epic ass day. I can say it for a fact. I mean, it was a great day. I think every single thing I think came out to perfection. And we're going to take a look right here, guys. You can see the first figure we do have is the Chase variant, Elite 67 Jeff Hardy, with the non face paint. And it looks great, you know, very simple yet very effective. I think I have every Jeff Elite in the face paint in non face paint now. So it's cool to have a version where he doesn't have any face paint on and uh, that was the reason for picking up a few of those chase variants i only had one before but after getting three for christmas now i will have different swippages and swappages that we can do and i think the first one we did here today looks excellent and i'm sure we'll do more customs of jeff down the line love jeff one of my favorites of all time easily and it's so cool to see that blue sleeved jeff right there the next one is the head swap with the matt hardy right here with the wrestlemania elite and it came out perfect i think this head sculpt definitely looks better than the cartoony version the true effects really bring this head sculpt to life and it looks excellent really really excited with the way this came out and i am super happy with it again very i mean it's basically the same thing but we get a lot more detail in that head sculpt and i think that is the difference there so that matt hardy turned out excellent i'm very satisfied with both of those swaps this one turned out a little bit better i think i really love the camo pants with the updated you know broken woken matt hardy head sculpt with the details in the gray and the salt and pepper beard going on with the elbow pads and the camo on the pants very excellent swap i'm very glad i i decided to switch this one as well because i think it turned out a little bit better than this one even though i'm big on white i think the camo look with that head sculpt gives it a different little look there so i'm happy with that one and those three hardies are looking freaking fantastic next up guys we have our matt riddle basic conversion elite now so we finally have an official matt riddle elite right here with that head swap it looks so good i don't know why the hell it said swap like that it was like swap but this looks so good man this matt riddle looks excellent i love this head sculpt on there i think it ties in perfectly i still have yet to remove that tattoo i gotta do that but it's not that noticeable it's so blended in you know it's it's whatever but i really love the way this matt riddle came out i think mattel did a great job on that head sculpt this formula for matt riddle i think works the best he's around 6'2 or so you know he's supposed to be the same height as jeff hardy and i think you know that's pretty damn perfect i mean he may be a little bit taller but i don't think it's that i mean i think it's pretty perfect so the height works great for matt riddle and we finally have a Matt Riddle to go in our Elite Collection. Our next figure is going to be the WrestleMania 17 Hardy. And this turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. One thing I will say is the arms feel a little gappy. Or at least they felt gappy when we first did it. Now it seems that they've, you know, as they've cooled off, they've hardened up. And they've gotten a lot better. But this Jeff looks great. I, I definitely have to paint the belt because that makes it more accurate. It makes it, you know, a, a, an official, you know, WrestleMania 17 Jeff Hardy. But this looks great. I think that... Uh, uh, this turned out well and it's cool to have a different version of Jeff rather than just the ringside exclusive so that little pretty much basic to elite conversion I know they didn't make it completely accurate like that but that is basically what this is is a basic to elite conversion I think it turned out great really happy with the way that came out cannot wait to put that up on the shelf and that is our custom Jeff Hardy next up guys is the two Finn Balors that turned out excellent I love both of these I think that the wrist tape really did it in I think that these kick pads one thing I will say is the golds aren't completely the same and the reds aren't completely the same they come off a lot better on camera uh i will say this is a little bit darker but i think for the most part it works dude that looks excellent the the swap de definitely paid off i'm so happy with this fix up definitely one of the better fin ballers we've ever made and then this one turned out just as badass i love both of these comment down below which one you like better you like the silver and white or do you like the red and black uh here's a little shot from the back i think it turned out like freaking perfect i love them both i think they're excellent and i cannot get over how good these look so again you know how usually on surgery we have one or two things just go awry and not work out and you know not live up to the hype or work out completely how my mind thinks it's going to work i don't think that happened here today guys i think the christmas edition the the 40th episode of action figure surgery was perfection i think it was absolutely perfect we did run into some bumps in the road but ultimately i think we came out on top and i know you're all wondering well what the hell happened with keith lee Best in his glory. Best in his glory. Look at our elite Keith Lee right here, ladies and gentlemen. It pretty much... It pretty much works. I, I, I'm going to say I think it's pretty much, I think Mattel could do it better, but for a placeholder elite Keith Lee, I think this is going to get the job done. Now, what we've done here, and I got to go quick because I don't have that much time left. 
on my thing. But I'm going to tell you right now, we uh, took these legs off. We painted the upper thighs, sealed that up. We did have to paint the butt cheeks on the back right here to give it the all black look. I did remove the right elbow pad. I also uh, did put on some Macho Man boots because uh, they were the only ones that fit these legs. I tried rock legs. I tried different pegs and stuff to try and get them to fit and then, you know, saw off the rock legs to make them look like the short boots. Obviously, Keith Lee does not wear tall boots. I know that. I'm not an idiot. But until Mattel gives us a, uh, a big lower leg to fit smaller boots right here, um, we're not going to be able to make that switch at least right now uh, without painting skin tones or something. And I did not want to paint skin tone. The only thing I wanted to do was paint the upper legs if that was necessary because that's not that big of a deal. But I think that the Keith Lee works, man. I think it turned out okay. I think the head sculpt goes on this Rikishi pretty good. His height is pretty much perfect. You guys can see there he's supposed to be 6'2", and he is a little bit taller, if not 6'2", right there, so that works out perfectly. But Keith Lee, I think, turned out okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. You guys want to see him up to his basic. I mean, his basic's probably a little bit more accurate. Rikishi looks hilarious, by the way. Look at Rikishi's head on this body. That looks hilarious, but uh, I think it turned out okay. Again, the boots are not accurate. Uh, the knee pads aren't the, you know, the most accurate, but I think it works for right now. A placeholder Keith Lee. Uh, let me know what you think of Keith Lee down in the comment section below. I think that it's okay. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst, and uh, I would just like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for Action Figure Surgery episode number 40. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in to the Christmas special of Action Figure Surgery, but I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm running out of time. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE Action Figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.